Hi guys, I'm Tom PB and welcome to number five in the series of V tutorials in partnership with Vidarazzi and Parajet. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through the first checkup of your engine and recap on some of the points we covered in number three. So during the first 10 hours of use of your new engine, there'll be a number of things you need to check. And once you've done it, it won't be necessary to repeat them again. The first is retightening the cylinder head nuts to 17 Newton meters which needs to be done after the first two hours of break-in and then following that after 10 hours. Please always remember to do this when the engine is cold and not hot. The second will be removing and checking the spark plug after the first phase of the break-in and ensuring it's a nice coffee brown colour. Thirdly, you should check the tension of the belt after five and 10 hours. We should check that the engine has a stable idle at 2000 to 2200 RPM. We should inspect the engine to ensure all screws, nuts and bolts are tight. We should inspect the engine again to see if there's any excessive leaking of oils or residues. We should always check the condition of the engine rubber mounts to ensure there's not excessive wear. And finally, we should always check the propeller bolts before every flight to ensure they're sufficiently tight. So now let's cover some frequently asked questions on engine checkup. So one of the most commonly asked questions is, after how many hours do I need to do maintenance and what are the steps for conducting that maintenance? The answer to this is actually extremely easy. Within your user manual, there is a detailed schedule which clearly lists the number of hours of use and the relevant parts to replace. It's important to mention that we highly recommend the use of an hour meter so you can effectively track the number of hours of use of your engine. When it comes to conducting the maintenance, Viterazzi and Parajet would always highly recommend that you contact your local dealer or a Viterazzi approved service centre. But if you do wish to do the works yourself, please always ensure that you only use Viterazzi approved parts. So once again, we hope you found this tutorial useful and it's given you a confidence and knowledge of your engine. And we look forward to seeing you next time. See you then.